what do you think the implications are for domestic politics in the United States? It's an election year. And uh, will this affect Biden's popularity? My Also a concern of mine is that um, it seems like for many people, COVID is ancient history, right? That the Dems maybe are going to successfully pull off this idea of uh, like what uh, Polis has successfully done for the most part in Colorado by making himself seem all reasonable. Oh, yeah, well, I lifted the uh, the mandates a long time ago and, uh, you know, let's get back to business and all this. When these people were, ju- were behaving uh, just in reprehensible ways, lecturing people, locking down businesses, going out of their way to revoke private businesses, business licenses, And that sort of thing, arresting people, throwing people out of physically throwing people out of their own businesses and things like that. And now we're just saying, you know, no big deal. That was all fine. Moving on to other stuff. Are uh, well, will people forget? What I like to tell my kids is never forget what they took from you, right? Over the over the last two years, uh, don't forget it. Uh, but maybe with the the foreign policy situation coming up, it's going to be different with the election. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Well, one of the things I think is interesting in this is that you know let, let's let's say um, there is a move to uh, ramp up, uh, you know, the, the the American war effort. Um, I I would like to believe that you know war you know hot, war with you know at that point we would have much larger concerns than the 2020 election, um, and I recognize that I, I tend to think that this is an issue that's not going to be politically viable for for Biden to try to wrap himself in um, because there is I think a few polls out there that shows the majority of the country I think like 60 plus percent um, don't think that Putin would have invaded Ukraine if Trump was president. Um, this kind of plays into, I think, one dynamic that has always been underappreciated, um, that for all of Trump's failings, there's going to be a, there's nothing more powerful in society, particularly in the West right now, than nostalgia, right? That's the driving all of Hollywood's money. Um, and I think there's going to be a massive, massive sort of nostalgia kick for Trump that, gilly gosh darn, don't you remember how great things were in 2018? Um, you know, the guy that was in charge back then is running again. Obviously we're going, you know, that's, that's going to be a bit very powerful thing in his factor, um, even for all of the other warts that Trump may have. Um, politically though, I, 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 what, what concerns me is less necessarily, um, the electoral battlegrounds. Cause I, I think a lot of the state elections are being driven right now based off of what your state has gone through the last two to four years. I think a lot of the congressional seats, um, are going to, you know, I, I, I think, this, again, given how unpopular Biden is right now, um, I, I don't think this is going to change any, any – because I mean, particularly it's like Biden's not going to go up there and like give like a – you know, you can see the State of the Union address. You know, he's confusing the Ukrainians for Iranians and can't like finish his sentences without slurring. Um, you know, this is not going to be a guy that can really, you know, I think, take advantage of, uh, <laughs> you know, flying onto a, an aircraft carrier, right, for some sort of over-the-top theatrics. Um but what what does concern me though is the way that this will be weaponized domestically as the new frontier for censorship. Um, I, I think that you know we are in March of 2022. I think that if Tucker Carlson continues being Tucker Carlson in the way that we've seen him, um, you know, I would not take even odds um, to, to say that he would. Uh, that he'll be fired from Fox News, but I think that uh, you know. But I, I, I'd probably take you know better odds than uh, uh, or, you know, w- w- worse odds than the Rams won the, the Super Bowl this year, right? I, I think that there's going to be a massive drumbeat to censor anything that is not continuing with whatever the approved narrative of the regime is. Russia bad, et cetera, et cetera, and precisely because the rights critiques of you know, liberals, the left, modernity, whatever you want to call it, neoliberalism, how closely those align with the language used by uh, uh, allies of Putin and that I think this will only further fuel this culture war dynamic of censoring anything to the right of Ben Shapiro. And so, I mean, the good thing is, is that this is nothing new. This was all inevitable. The question was going to be, what's that going to be that catalyst? I think more than the question of whether it's going to happen. Um, you do see 
Um, again, we're seeing tons of pressure and stress being placed upon those sort of institutions that are going to be important to um, getting out of that sick, militant, um, liberal, authoritarian push. Um, you know, Odyssey, for example, the streaming platform that the Mises Institute used for uh, Mises U 2021, we'll be using again, have you uh, have used in a variety of projects. Um, they are not censoring RT, um, where Europe has censored RT within their borders on a variety of traditional uh, platforms. Um, the way that Bitcoin um, has you know, continues to work for peer to peer transactions, even as they try to escalate holds on um, exchange, any of the sort of centralized, like, centralized controlled. Bitcoin holdings. I mean, I've seen even to the extent where Iranians are now getting kicked off of certain exchanges, having their funds frozen in non, um, you know, individually held ex uh, points simply because, you know, they're not playing around, around properly with the West when it comes to financially whacking their finger at Russia as well. And so I think that what will begin as cracking, cracking down on, you know, Russian sympathies, um, which again is, is happening in any of the most absurd and stupid symbolic sort of ways, I think that will um, end up very quickly being used the same way um, that you know, the regime targeted Canadian truckers, uh, yeah, targeted people on, that, that protested the election results in January 6th of 2001 and all these other sort of hotspots. Um, and so you know, we, we should not be, again, th this is going to, to lead to cultural escalation um, even if we had, and I, again, I think this will be true, even if somehow, you know, you get very, very quick peace talks. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be a, I, I don't think forgiveness is big uh, within the, the repertoire of Western elites right now. And so I, I think that the, the I, don't, I don't think there's an outcome where, um, you know, where we, we can reset to where we were just two weeks ago in the way that some of this stuff is going to be handled.